Welcome back to round four. We're here at GameSwap Mason, Ohio. For some hot modern action. I'm Justin Blackburn. I'm Bryn Rogers. And we're here for the Wii Pete match because we had both these players on already. But I'm sure they're the only people playing. Yeah, so. well, uh, I know that both of these players don't often split. Yeah. So, yeah. so I figured it was uh, something that, like, yeah, they're going to play. Yep. So let's put them on. So we've got Logan Reinhardt on Red Green Eldrazi. With Victor Kurz on Jeskai Nairi. I would say Victor's I, probably favored in this match. Yeah, I don't know what's going to happen in this match. Uh, I bet we're going to have a Victor. Very fun. As in, like, win or not. Like, literally have a place, uh, person named. Okay. I regret this decision. Yeah. Um, Immediately. Yeah, the people I'm that said hungry. I, the people that said I'm allowed to commentate should regret it. But um, I don't regret it. Eh, well, you did say. <laughs> eh, I enjoy commentating. I'm not the best. I know that. But you know what? I'm know doing that. it. So <laughs> <laughs> you can just leave a like and a comment and a subscription. <laughs> and I will shut up. <laughs> no, that's not gonna happen. That wasn't part of it. Oh, we know this. Search. I didn't know he played Search that. Search for Ascanta. Why card. not? No, I just didn't know he played it. Such it's a good a card. card. It's a very good card. He yeah, I'm going to go ahead and scry every turn. No big deal. No, it's better than scry. Puts it in the graveyard for Snapcaster. The a pseudo scry. No. Yeah, I just I, I legitimately think it's better than scrying. I can see both sides. Yeah, it does put it in the graveyard, so if you need that fetch land. Yeah. Yeah. But or if you have so many lands, then you're just like, yeah, I don't need this land. Hmm. I'm out of fetchables. Buy fetch land. <laughs> yeah. No, that's fine. Um, yeah, I, I, uh, yeah, this card in all formats, right? Let's put it in all formats. Yeah. Let's just play it in all formats. It right? was in Legacy, but it was not doing too hot. Really, it, it does well in Vintage. <laughs> I mean, I saw it in Legacy like a couple times, and then it, it was like. Up there a couple times, then poof, out of out of huh. existence. Yeah, I don't I don't see much uh, legacy play. I would imagine with legacy because um, because of force of will being such a good card. Yeah, it just kind of gets forced. Yeah, where I don't is force played in vintage. Yeah. Really? So the legacy? No, yeah, vintage. Never no, mind. It, it's it's played in legacy for sure. Vintage mm. is kind of like a weird. It, it's weird because it's not what you think it's gonna be. It's more uh, mental missteps, that kind of stuff. Yeah. Stuff that counter the one drops because the one drops are what matters. Yeah. Um. So I don't know if it's restricted in vintage. Now that I say that out loud. Um, search for Escanta. No, not search. Uh, Force of Will. Uh. Um. But yeah, search search is good in vintage because. It does often end on turn one, but not necessarily always. And from what I understand, it's actually about 50-50 if it ends right away. Force of Will is completely legal in all the formats that it's... Legal in. Like, that it was possibly printed, printed in. Okay. Yeah. Just legal. There's right. no restriction cool. or anything. So I would imagine players are still playing two to three, at least. Not four. I mean, you got to fit the moxes in there. Right? Nope. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> uh, vin vintage player here, Brent Rogers. How do you feel? How do I feel? Yeah. How do you uh, feel? Tired and hungry. I've done one on a vintage event before. Yeah. I'm I'm happy to say that. I uh yeah, it was a budget vintage event, this <laughs> tournament, and I uh, did pretty well. I was playing, of course, Burn because what else would you play? <clears throat> Reanimator. Yeah, that kicked my ass. <laughs> I put in four. You're too young to cuss. Shut up. Yeah, I'm, I'm, Justin, shut up. I'm Justin, shut up, please. Uh, it, I, uh, put in four, no, I think it was six cards against him, and I didn't see any of them, and he saw everything he wanted. Mm-hmm. Do you it, know, do you know what the card Sting Scorger does? No. It is a color-shifted card. What's that mean? It means that it was printed in Planar Chaos. So yeah. that it has a, another color's ability, but it is in a different color. For instance, Mana Tithe. Oh, okay. It's a blue blue card's ability, but it is a white card. Okay. Stuff like that. 
Yeah. I <laughs> Sting Scourger is a red card. That is the blue ability of returning a creature to the hand. Oh jeez. <laughs> so it's a it's a four drop. I think it might be a two drop with Echo, four mana. And <laughs> Look, so you just, Logan, just real quick, Logan uh, brought out the Salt Shaker. Oh my god. Because <laughs> he logic knotted. Uh, <laughs> thought not see here. That's funny. <laughs> but yeah, it, it, it's just for reanimator stuff like that. You, you bounce their 10 11 drop that they're never going to be able to cast. So, yeah. That's about it. That's all I was going to say. I just enjoy that. Play yeah. vintage. You couldn't you couldn't fit that in a budget vintage deck though. I believe that card exceeds the value. Like I think it literally is above the $25 limit. What's the card? Search for Kenta. Oh. Yeah, no, I, I just mean I don't think you could play search in that format because I think it is $25 like exactly. <laughs> Last time I saw it was thirty bucks. Well, okay, take, that's actually want, pretty good. Want to take a guess? Um, I'm gonna, I'm gonna stick with twenty five. I'm think gonna go hard. ahead and say it went down. No, it's still four of them, like every standard deck. No, I'm talking about the price. Yeah. Yeah, I'm saying the price has gone down from twenty five. Okay. No, I'm I'm I'm, I'm saying it's still twenty five. It's twenty three dollars. All right, that's a pretty even guess on both reports. Yeah. Uh, I'm actually kind of surprised. Right, it did go down, but. It, didn't go down that much. No. Um, yeah. I, I kind of assumed it didn't go down too much because it is still number one on the hot list here at GameSwap Mason. They, uh, the hot list is the cards that they will give you an additional, I believe it is 10% trade-in value when you trade it in. I don't know. So it, it's just cards they need in stock, so they're, they're willing to give you a little more for them. I just pulled mine in a pack. I actually pulled mine in my pre-release kit. It was the first pack I opened. Nice. Yeah, but it wasn't that good. Like it, it wasn't. It wasn't. It was like eight dollars when I opened it. Mm -hmm. So I'm like, I'm happy now. But I was like, all right, this is pretty cool. And now I'm happy now. But yeah, I remember the first time I saw that card. I was like, that's. It seems good. I didn't think an it okay was, card. I didn't then, think it was gonna be great, but no, it's pretty good. And then yeah, if you if you fit it in the right deck, like you know, any. J like Jeskai Control or Grixis Control, it's pretty okay. Yeah, pretty pretty okay. Pretty like okay. Su subpar, like seven out of ten. Uh, no, I'd go as far as six out of ten. <laughs> For control? No, it's a it's a solid eight. No, I was joking. Okay. It's a it's actually a zero out of ten. Get out. Unplayable. Get out. Unplayable. Literally performance. take your headset off again and leave. <laughs> Again? I'll, I'll call you back okay. when game two starts. <laughs> Maybe you'll learn your lesson by now. <laughs> you, you, my ringtone is just, ah! <laughs> Shut up! Uh. No, it's just, hey, Justin, yeah, you the one that doesn't matter. Because <laughs> all I hear here is, hey, Justin, no, not you, the one that matters. <laughs> Can I go ahead and say I'm none of those? Actually, no, I think it did say <laughs> Yeah, once. I'm sure you've done it. <laughs> Almost everyone uh, has. I don't miss being a teenager. Uh, it, I mean, it's fine. There's another Justin. Justin has been here longer. You're, so. you're Justin. I am Justin. Okay. Justin Gebbing has been here longer than I have. Well, yeah. Justin Gebbing also works here. In so. every way, shape, and form. Yeah. Yeah. Can I say that Electrolyze Art is sick AF? Yeah. I love that artwork. It is a true statement. Also. I love that artwork. Uh, yeah, I believe that is a game day promo. I believe it's a Magic the Gathering card. I don't know. Flip it over. Let's see that Yu-Gi-Oh back. <laughs> Do it. You won't. You, you won't. Right. Let's uh, let's stop the match right now and get get does, a little. <laughs> does he have? I only count six cards in his graveyard. I. I'm he sure needs there's seven. A, I'm sure there's a fetch line over there. Yeah, can we get a check? But yeah, I'm pretty sure it's just a fetch because. Thank you. Click. He lifted it up. We didn't see it, but he lifted it up. So. Okay. I guess. I'm, I'm still going to counting sex. Do you want to walk out there and check? Hmm. <laughs> no. <laughs> Serious consideration. And good old Ooh, R smash. Smash. Smash, smash. smash. Victor, I've got a great idea. Why don't you target that? <laughs> Twice. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, she's electrolyzed and then electrolyzed. <laughs> Mm, still gets counted because oh, you don't have enough cards. To I've got a, I've got a good idea. Uh, choose, cast electrolyze. Target number one, reality smasher. Target number two, a soldier token. 
<laughs> Deal. <laughs> Pretty good. And then, uh, and then in response to the trigger off of Reality Smasher, cast Lightning Bolt, target your creature. Target your other. So your Electrolyze is getting countered. No. Yes. Oh, yeah. That's that is what it does. I forgot. <laughs> Dude, I don't worry. And this cards. is why I'm better at magic than you. <laughs> I thought it was because I can't count or know how to mulligan properly. Oh, I mean, there's several different things. I mean, why, why wouldn't I uh, keep a one land hand against the Grixis deck? And my only play is Bird of Paradise in the three drops. I I don't know. <laughs> and I, and it was a full seven. Uh, I, I guess he could block too. And he's elect. Oh, it, okay. It, All right, I see yeah, what he did. The our uh, our stream winner is letting us know that if he blocked uh, both soldier tokens on a thought not seer, then electrolyzed it. He That's could a pretty kill bad draw card. Whiff, but. Um, at least it's an easy one. Yeah. No. Um. What was the other card? I saw two serums and what two was the lands. Other? Oh, it was two and two. Okay. So ancestral. He did choose a pretty one. Colonnade and a fetch. All right. Yeah. All right. I mean. All right. All right. Whatever. All right. Just think you can put a little if you want. Yeah. All right. So um, I'm curious. Maybe you know the answer. Yeah. You know those like brown bordered fetch lands. Mm -hmm. Why isn't there? Yeah, why isn't there an onslaught scolding tarn? So, okay, so there are two cycles of fetch lands, Innistrad and Zendikar. Yeah. Or not Innistrad and Zendikar. Cons and Zendikar. Sure. So the cons ones were printed first. Originally, those are the onslaught ones. Zendikar finished the cycle. So the onslaught ones came very first. Yeah, but w that doesn't answer the question of why there's not a scalding tarn. But there's a polluted S delta, flood of strand. Scalding tarn is a Zendikar fetch land, not a cons one. There, so there's two half cycles. So the uh, the enemy color, yeah. So the enemy colors are uh, are the Zendikar ones. The Which ally are red, black. Like so the the colors are cross on the color wheel. Um, I'm, I'm holding this up so you can yeah. see. Yeah. Uh, so the black, white ones, white, red ones. Yeah. It, that kind of. So those sure. are those are the enemy ones. Those are in Zenikar. Okay. The ally ones, the ones that are next to each other, yeah. are from Cons, and Onslaught. They're the, the, the they're the same fetch lands. Huh. So the Onslaught ones were printed first, and Zenikar printing them was actually such a big deal because it actually finished out the cycle. Yeah. Huh. And. But they had switched the borders by the time they got to finish them this cycle. Which is sad. It is, but that, that that's why they uh, don't have them. Okay. Yeah. Dismember. Which member? That one? Dismember. Okay. Hey. Hey, Justin. Yes. How many saw dudes does it take to screw in a light bulb? What's wrong with that Birds of Paradise? <laughs> my, my question <laughs> is actually important. <laughs> How many saw dudes does it take to screw in a light bulb? How many? I'll, I'll give the chat like 40 seconds. They're they're on a 20 second delay. Oh, I know. That's why I'm giving okay. them 40 seconds. 40, 40 seconds to answer. And if they get it correct, <laughs> you can come down to GameSwap and I'll give you a nice big hug. Uh, no expenses paid. You have to pay for yourself. Yeah, that that's, yeah. But, uh, oh, okay. All right. Matt's on the right track. Matt's on the right track. Does Matt want a free trip? Matt gets a free hug. So. Uh, wait, no. Uh, we got a we gotta comment. So. Bob Ross. How many saw dudes does it take to screw in a light bulb? Zero, man. They Zero. Are lit. It's already lit, fam. Dab. And, uh. So, Slowly um, losing my lunch. So uh, this is the quietest I've ever vomited. So uh, actually, that's Matt, a lie. if you uh, want to come back and claim your prize, or you want to wait till after the uh, the round, that's perfectly fine. <laughs> I, I still think Bob Ross wins this. What, no. what is that other one? He's a, it's just space palming. That's this one. Tailfish. Tail cool story, Bob. Bob Ross. I miss him. Bob Ross? Mm -hmm. Did he die? Yeah. Mm -hmm. He's been dead for a while. It's kind of sad. Every mistake is just a happy little accident. That's, that's, yeah, that's that's why it's sad. 
I want to know how high he was consistently. I don't think he was. I think he was just genuinely like a nice person that just wanted everyone to be happy. <sighs> we need more people in the world like that. Yeah. Dude, I tell you what. There, I have this buddy, right? Mm-hmm. And I don't talk to him often, and there's no reason not to. Yeah. There's no, there's no bad don't. no bad blood. Yeah, you, you know? just don't. He just I got married. It. He's busy and shit like that. So, um, But he's just genuinely always happy. <laughs> genuinely. I, I consistently. Have I have friends like that. And I'm like... How do you do it? He's like, I don't know. I'm just happy all the time. <laughs> I'm it, like, so DJ, it, DJ, stop. Be sad or something. You're not a, you're not being right. real with me. I don't get it. Like, yeah, I have some friends. <sighs> yeah, friends that are like that. I was like, friends are peers. And I was like, no, they're friends. Friends uh, yeah, that I, that are like that. Well, I I had to hesitate because you're. I, I thought you were gonna say no. You don't have any friends. Um, uh, I'm not that big of a douche all the time. I probably would have said it honestly, well, but uh, you're a bigger douche yeah, I know I am. <laughs> uh, but I, <laughs> I would have said it, and it doesn't bother me, but it legitimately really bothers some people, and they're like, they're too positive, and I was like, what's wrong with that? Is there any problem with that? And I was like, I just don't like him, and I was like, how? How can you legitimately not like this person? I don't. It's. I don't. I don't not like them. It's. It's just that. I think it's the fact that I'm jealous that they're just so happy all the oh, time. Oh, I've given up on hope. <laughs> I don't even be jealous anymore. Like, good for you, man. You're you're 16. You should. Everyone wants to die at this age. I don't know what you're talking about. <sighs> Let's not call the police, please. <laughs> I don't know if I'm laughing anymore or crying. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> what have we gone down? I think I'm laughing. This is... They are taking a while to shuffle. I can say that. You want an elephant? An how oily come, font? How come an elephant is a 3-3? Three, three? Um, because... Shouldn't it be better? Like, look at that. Dude, he's picking up a tree. <laughs> that, that, that mofo right there is no 3-3. Uh, three, three. What ratio check lands do you use for salt? Are you asking for standard or for modern? Uh, that's a big deal. Because isn't there only, like one fetch you can use and it's evolving wilds uh there are dual there are dual lands in standard they so they're time. asking oh check uh, lands check lands yeah I uh mean, yes i'm a huge fan of checks and standard well i mean i would imagine that anybody still doesn't answer the question um i would assume it's for standard and uh i am not a standard person so just four of each right yeah talk to the stream monkey um the spotter stream, monkey. stream monkey does standard yeah, um, he's he's the standard guy. See, out the, of us. see, the best part is I stream standard, pretty much weekly. In modern play shock lands, yeah, that's hundred percent. So but you, you uh, played shock lands and Abzan, right? Control. And they were pretty good? I preferred them over fast lands. So, oh, yeah. Sometimes that's what it was. Okay. Sometimes I, I couldn't remember. Why um, but yeah, can, yeah, with, with modern you just play shocks, but control the control list like. Uh, Jess guy blue white uses uh, check lands still yeah because the fast lands will come untapped eventually and you want to make every untapped land drop yeah. turn one it is okay to play it tapped like your turn one is your turn one least is the play probably like I, w I don't want to say least important but it's usually very unimportant it's I would say it's the very it's the least important uh, uh, for control. Mm -hmm. um, well, depending on the build. Turn two, you want to keep two mana open for your logic knot if you're not playing Search for Ascanta. Or, mana, or just mana leak. No. Yeah, yeah, yeah. If you're not playing Search for Ascanta, you keep the two mana open. Mm -hmm. I mean, you're not you're not going to be playing Snapcaster right. Mage or not. Yeah. There's no other, like, real two drops. You're. It's perfectly okay to, to play those and then on your oh, turn wall of path. <laughs> If you if you're playing Wall of Omens, you could play. You wall don't of play Wall of Omens. Uh, they're they're actually coming back. More decks are playing them. Uh, Scott, the local judge, was playing them. Yesterday. Such a bad card. <laughs> oh, it's uh, it's good when you're uh playing like Super Friends. Can you stop a Mantis Rider with it? The Path to Exile does that for you. Not when you had to tap out to play Wall of Omens. Why would you tap out to play Wall of Omens? You would represent Counter Magic. Because that's the turn two. Mana. That's a turn. No, you don't two. play a turn two. You just play it later. No, 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 no. I'm saying turn two. Oh. Thank, Thank you, you for, for the help. help. Smiley yeah, face. I'm sorry. If you, hey, if you hey, Roast Rev, you're welcome. 
If you uh, want a much Here's better a free question, elephant token. Ask on Wednesday. Literally threw it at the screen. And we have better, well, actual standard players there. Uh, I'm kind of familiar with standard, the, the deck types, but I don't know their lists very well. I also don't know anything about their standard. I uh, was here for stream testing, but that doesn't mean that's going to be the meta. What if they call the meta 100%? I can guarantee that's not going to happen. Oh, duh, yeah. Uh, I believe they were actually pretty accurate this time. I don't think it's 100%, though. Uh, there was, there was like, one or two lists that just kind of didn't yeah. work. Because of, uh, because of Land of War Elves, it enabled a combo deck with Aetherflux Reservoir, which I, I know you don't know, but it's a storm card, essentially. Except you gain life, and you can pay 50 life to deal 50 damage to a player. So, no, no, Rose, Rose Rev, I was not like li li literally yelling at you. I was just play yelling at you. That's just what I do. No, no, we're, do. yeah, we're good. We, I just yell at people while being nice. Yeah, we're happy to help. Shroof. Shroof. 1983. Thank you for following. That was a great year, right? Hey, Shroof. Thanks for following. You're, See, do I you remember that, that year? year? Do you remember that year? You know, I'm only 23, right? I thought you were a dinosaur. I'm only 23. <laughs> I was born in 95. God, you guys are old. <laughs> Rose, if I do yell, it'll be at this kid that I'm sitting next to. Guys, if you, if you, hear, if you hear any sounds of slapping or something, call the police. <laughs> oh, man. Relic of Progenitus. Stop. <laughs> <laughs> I'm good. Relic of Progenitus. I think that's literally the first time I've ever pronounced that right. Relic? Yeah. <laughs> if anything, it's just like, yeah, Relic. <laughs> yeah, it, no, it, it just is called Relic most of the time. You're a Relic. I only really know how to play Progenitus because... Progenitus. 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 Because I wanted to build a commander deck when I first started playing. Can we stop about commander? I'm not even... I will go back on my human's rant on how good it is. Uh, one? Actually, two, two things. Kay. One, I was making a statement that... I only learned how to say it because I thought about it. Okay. I didn't go through. I'm gonna make it. a counter. Two. No, no, no. no. I get you go, make it. Please. You, you please. get to make a point. I get to make a point. I think you'll like my second point. Though. I like my first. Okay, point. go ahead. Humans is a great deck. <laughs> I was gonna say I don't even mind if you go on a humans rant. Okay. Humans as like real things are terrible people, but the tech is dope. <laughs> Wait, what? Humans? Yeah. Are you like, talking about the deck or the people? Like legit people? Yeah, people. Suck. Terrible. People are horrible. terrible. People are the, actually the worst things on the planet. But the deck itself, straight gas. Yeah. Um, like, just about any issue, it's because of humans, somehow. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Unless it comes to, like, malaria. Yeah, but humans spread it. You spread it. Yeah, take Shit, your you're a human. Oh, man, Blood Braid Elf into... What's that, Eldrazi? Obligator. Obligator. It's a two-one with haste right now, which is good And the Kessig Wolf run. Yeah, it's a, it's a good card. It's whatever. It lets me kill my opponents in modern. <laughs> that 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 the card has the most win rate for me. Yeah. Yeah. It's a good card. Yeah, it's pretty okay. My Ponza opponent yesterday couldn't kill me with it because of their own blood. <laughs> <laughs> they could have killed me so much quicker, and because of their Blood Moon, they couldn't kill me. Yeah. That's why I was playing, uh, I played up against uh, that guy who showed up yesterday. Mm -hmm. um, Just so what deck? Quicker? Oh. Um, the deck um, that was uh, Blue Red Scred. Yeah. I didn't see it, but I heard about it. Um, I played against it a couple weeks ago at a FNM, I think. Mm -hmm. And um, he played Blood Moon, obviously, and then yeah, uh, it's just Blue Moon with Scred stuff. Yeah, and then uh, he had a search for Escanth and he flipped it. Then he played Blood Moon, and I was like, "That's f more than fine with me." And he's like, "I play something," and he's like, "In response, activate." I'm like, "No, you can't activate mountains. You can tap your mana, please. You can't activate mountains." Yeah. And he's like, you're right. You're right. <laughs> I, yeah, I, I know who you're talking about. And right. uh, 
yeah i felt so bad for like no it, it happens like that, but it, like th- so that kind of stuff is very important because it's how you learn yeah because he probably is not going to forget that again and if he does he's going to remember like he's going to realize it pretty quick oh yeah yeah i was like i was really concerned i was like you're a blood moon deck and you flip that he's like yeah it's a good like i still want that in a blood moon deck I don't know if I would flip no. it, but I would play as Kanta in a Blood Moon deck. Nope. Because Blood Moon disables both. It hurts both players. If it... I don't think I'd ever flip it. Oh, I'm not saying to flip it. I'm just saying play as Search for as Kanta. Yeah. No, like, it, Blood Moon is symmetrical. Like, it may hurt you less, but it still hurts your opponent. Just like Thalia. And, yeah, like... You want to draw the best cards possible, and Sir Trust Kenta lets you do that. Smash! Smash! Wow. Smash! Okay. That, uh... It, I, smash! Smash! I don't remember Logan having these card, like these good plays in his hands. He has another elf in his hand as well. Yeah. I, I th- smash! I, I feel like Logan's going to be... Smash! Here. Helix hey. can kill elf, although lethal's already on board, and hey. he's just passing. Hey. Mm-hmm. Smash! Smash. Even with Helix, Moo! he dies. Go ahead, Helix. You still die. Idiot. I'm just kidding. Kidding, Victor. Kidding. I know you're going to watch this later. Please don't hate me. Victor, we cool. We cool, dude. We cool. It's okay, Victor. I'm cracked for you. <laughs> I'm really excited to see... Um, yeah, Helix still is exactly evil, actually. I bet he named Cavern... I bet he named Elf of that. <laughs> just so. Elf Berserker, yeah. Oh, that's pretty okay. That's fine. Uh, Logan, uh, you did not randomize that one card. <laughs> you still Does Victor have a cryptic command? Oh, oh, oh he's, he's got path. He is not okay. bad. Cool. Alright, path, trigger, draw. Still before damage. What do you draw? Snare. Okay. I don't know why he kept it in the deck. Um, that's a good point. It hits like obligator, which isn't important. <laughs> and so Victor goes to four, right? It goes to one. No, he Oh yeah, 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 yeah. You yeah. 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 yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. Um, yeah. I don't think it's a card you want to leave. Oh, yeah. You might as well stone. just spell snare at. Yeah. No. No, he wants to be able to discard to world Bra- or reality smasher. If he drew a path, he wanted to be able to discard. Fine. I mean, it's, it's a right. right. It's not a good play, but it's a right play. Well, with our outro. <laughs> Brandon, this is the last round. We got to do a real outro. Go ahead. <laughs> say it. All right. Um, right. Um, <laughs> thank you for watching. Thank you for watching. How many people did we have tonight? Uh, we had, I don't know. Hey, we, hey Justin. Been, yes. Hey. I'm going to hey, go ahead and check. Hey, hey listen. Hey. Hey, listen. Yeah. 70. We got 73. Nice. Uh, well, Thanks for pretty, watching. That's pretty low. 73 people out there. Hey, I, I shoot for the low ball. Well, you know? 72 because of us. 71 because of out there as well. They don't so count. 70-ish people. Thank you for watching. Uh, appreciate it very much. Um, if you like what we're doing here, if you want to keep this hot modern action, hot standard action on Wednesdays uh, coming along, um, uh, support us um, by following on Twitch, subscribing on YouTube, subscribing here on Twitch if you want. Um, you can also hit up our Patreon at patreon.com slash topdeckproductions. If you want to see deck lists from your favorite players here at uh, the shop, you can And me. If your favorites, um, <laughs> you can go to topdeckproductions.com. Um, we got a bunch of deck lists there. We got a bunch of articles there. Uh, websites going through some maintenance right now. Uh, it's getting a revamp. So... If you need any news about you know when we're streaming when if when or if the stream is down you can go to our facebook facebook.com slash top deck productions yep and while you're uh, there you can leave a like you could maybe follow the page yeah whatever um so if you're here watching this on oh the patreon link is in the chat if anybody's interested which i know all of you are all of you should I certainly come. am. I am. I, I became Me and my a patient. Credit, parents' credit card. Okay. Um, so that's there. If you're here or watching this on Twitch live or in the VODs, uh, go to our YouTube, 
We got youtube.com slash top deck productions there. And if you're watching this on YouTube and you want to watch us live, go to twitch.com slash top deck productions. Uh, we will be staying live till uh, Dominaria pre release starts, and then we'll have some fun Dominaria pre release action going on. I will not be commentating that. Yeah, but I will be present in the uh, chat until uh, approximately 4 a.m. Getting news we are having four rounds of pre release tonight. Uh, till 6 a.m., what? Yeah, that's when I usually leave. Oh, okay. I help the cleanup. Yeah. Um, so, tonight at midnight, we will start Dominaria. Uh, we will be streaming all of this information coming up. Saturday at noon, we will have more Dominaria. Saturday at 6 p.m., we will have Two-Headed Giant Dominaria. So, bring a friend. Bring a friend. Um, this is probably the best way to get them into magic, get them learning, um... Yeah, you get to be there with them and help them with every decision. And tell them to shut up and listen to you. <laughs> I certainly did that. Uh, Sunday, uh, noon and 6 p.m. And with that, hopefully you guys will enjoy Dominaria at midnight tonight. Or if you're not going to watch, hope you guys have a nice have a nice night. And if you guys are pre have fun at those. Um, after that, I've been Justin Blackburn. And I'm Brent Rogers. Thanks for watching. Take it easy. Woo! My, or the...